Please subscribe mad.com for any query, comment or email. Hello everyone. Our today's lecture is how you can identify that a given algebraic expression is polynomial or not. First of all, we will see what is polynomial. Then we will be able to identify about an algebraic expression. Polynomial is basically an algebraic expression that consists of variables, coefficients and exponents that are non-negative. Exponents should be non-negative integers and the operation between them should be positive, negative or multiplication. Let's take an example of a polynomial. What is a polynomial? 6xy square plus 3x minus 4. This is a polynomial. How? If we label, label it, then we can say that it consists of coefficient, variable and exponent. And the exponent is positive. And a positive integer. This is an algebraic expression that is polynomial. Okay? It consists of multiple terms. Polynomial basically is an algebraic expression that consists of multiple terms. Okay? Then here we can say and what is term? Term here is this is one term, this is second and this is third. So this algebraic ex expression consists of three terms. Okay? Now let's see what are the conditions required to identify uh, whether the given expression is polynomial or not. We will see the conditions as. Okay? What are the conditions? The condition number one is exponent should be non-negative. So this is the condition number one in order to identify uh, whether a given algebraic expression is a polynomial or not. Okay. So if we take the example then we can say that 2x square. Its power here is or the power or the exponent here this is non-negative integer. This means this is the right uh, this is the right condition for the polynomial. But if we have a term that is 2x raised to power minus 2 then it will become a negative integer due to which we cannot say that this is a polynomial. Okay, so it is not if it is not satisfying this condition we will say that the given algebraic expression is not a polynomial. So we can say that this is the condition that is satisfied and this is the condition that is not satisfied in case of the polynomial. The second condition is exponent should be integer with no fractional part. This means in the polynomial the exponents should not be in the form of fraction. Okay. So if we take the example we can say that 2 under root x. One number is like this and the other number is x under root 2. Okay. Now we will differentiate them together as that in this number x the power of x here is 1 by 2 and the power here 1 by 2 means this is not an integer. Okay. So for the exponent it should be an integer non-negative integer. We cannot say that this is a polynomial. Okay. While in this case if this is a polynomial because here under root 2 will be solved to get the desired number. But the, the power of x here is 1 like this. So here the exponent is 1 and here the exponent is 1 by 2. So we can say that this is that this is not satisfying the condition and this is satisfying the condition. And this is not a polynomial as the exponent is not an integer. Okay. That, then the last condition that is required for the polynomial is coefficients should be real numbers. Coefficients should be real numbers. Okay. So these are the three conditions that are required in order to identify an algebraic expression is a polynomial or not. If all these three conditions will met, then we will say that the given expression uh, is a polynomial. Okay. So if we talk about the coefficients, so the coefficients are like 2x square plus 3y here, the coefficients are these and these are real numbers. So if these are real numbers, then this is a polynomial and in case it's an imaginary number, then we, we will say that this is not a polynomial. Let's have a few examples and check yourself that whether you will be able to identify what is to identify whether the given expression is polynomial or not. We have few examples so that you can identify whether 
the given algebraic expression is polynomial or not. Let's see what are those examples. Now we will identify one by one whether these are polynomial or not and if not why these are not polynomial. First we will see this. In this example we have minus 6y square minus 7 by 9x. We will check whether all the three conditions are satisfying or not. Condition number one was that you must have a positive exponent. Uh, it means the value of exponent should be non-negative. It is satisfying here as this is 2 and here it is 1. So the power is non-negative. Then the exponents should be integers. So it is clear that the exponents are 2 and 1 that are integers. And the condition number 3 was coefficients should be real numbers. Here these are the coefficients and they are real numbers. So we can say that the, this is a polynomial. This algebraic expression is a polynomial. So I can write here this is a polynomial. Okay. Then we move towards the next example. Again we will check all the three conditions. Condition number one is that the exponent should be uh, non-negative. We will check here. Here the exponent of this is 1. This is non-negative. But here x is in the denominator. But when it moves to the numerator, it will be, its power will become negative. So, so we can say that this expression is not a polynomial. So if any one of the condition is not satisfied out of 3, we will not categorize the given expression as a polynomial. So with the condition 1 is not satisfied, we will say it is not a polynomial. Okay. Now in the next, in the next we will see, in this we, first we will see, the power of uh, the exponent is non-negative, yes, here the exponent is 1 and here the exponent is 3, so both are non-negative. So condition number 2 is the exponent should be uh, an integer with no fractional part, here the exponent, exponent of the variables, keep in mind, the exponents of the variables are, are integers and there is no fractional part, third, condition 3rd is also satisfied and the fourth and the third condition, second is also satisfied. So the condition number 3 is coefficients should be real numbers. Here the coefficients are, these are the coefficients and these are real numbers. So we can say that this is a, this expression is polynomial. Okay. Then in the next example, we will again uh, use all the three um, rules. But uh, uh, all the three rules, so the exponent should, the uh, rule, first rule is exponent should be non-negative. But in this case, the exponent is in the denominator. It should be in the numerator. When it goes to the numerator, it will become negative. This means that the, it is not a polynomial. And the, and, the, and the condition number 3 is also not satisfied here as here the power is 1 by 2. That is not an integer. But the power of the, power of the exponent of the variable should be integer or, or should, be, uh, should, not be a, uh, should not be fractional. So, two conditions are not satisfied, so we will not categorize it a, as a polynomial. So, it is also not a polynomial. Okay. Then we move towards the next and the last one. Here, the powers are, po uh, the exponents are non-negative and are integers as well and the coefficients are all real numbers. So, it is clear from here that this is a polynomial. So that was, that was all about that how you can identify a given algebraic expression is a polynomial or not or not depending on the three basic conditions. One is the exponent should be non-negative. Second is the exponent should be integer with no fractional part. And a third is coefficient should be, coefficients should be real numbers. Thank you. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe our channel math.com for more updates. Thank you.